hey loves welcome to my youtube channel so on today's video i'm going to show you how i transformed from this to this so watch the video till the end subscribe like comment share do all those beautiful things and i'm going to start off with this maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder and i'm going to use it on my brow area and then i go in with this air woman brow pencil and i use the short stroke method this is because my hands are not that steady and this is a very effective method especially for beginners too and when it comes to the outer part i use the brow pencil that i used to line my brows that is the black eyebrow pencil and when it comes to the front part i use a brown eyebrow pencil and then to clean up the brow i'm using a legal pro concealer this is in the shade a phone and i'm using a flat brush to help me with that and i'm still using the short stroke method this is very very easy especially with beginners it's a very very easy method to actually use So when it comes to the top part, I'm going to use a foundation and this is the same foundation that I'll be using on my skin. So this foundation is by LA Girl. I'll list the shade name on the description box. So be sure to check that out. And then for the eyeshadow, I'm using Morphe 35V eyeshadow palette. I'll show you the shades uh, as the video progresses. So I'll show you, don't worry. And then I'm going to draw a small cut crease and I'm using a legal pro concealer in the shade phone. And I'm still using the same brush that I was using to clean up the brows. And when it comes to eyeshadow, you don't need a lot of brushes. You just need a few of them. You, you don't need a lot of them. And then I applied an eyeshadow shade. And then since I want to do glitters, I'm using a glue. And the glue that I'm using is a ghost bond. That is for the hair. I wanted to do glitters and I didn't have glitter glue. So I just had to improvise. And then I I tapped in my glitters using my fingers to be quite honest it's been a while since i last used glitters and that's the palette that i used for eyeshadow these are the two eyeshadows that i used and then for primer i used maybelline fit me and i did my lashes off camera i'm using a legal foundation mixed with a legal pro concealer in the shade truffle this because uh, the early girl foundation doesn't really match my skin tone so i have to mix it up so that it can be at least close to my skin tone yeah so and for application i'm using a beauty blender and i'm tapping in tap 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 that in always take your time with blending and to highlight i'm using a legal pro concealer this is about three shades lighter than my skin tone this is what i'm using to highlight and then as that settles in and since i want to have um, more coverage with the concealer i'm going to leave it for some time and as i do that i'm going to line my eye my lipstick and also do my lip and to line i'm using this lip liner i got it from dubois and then on top of that i'm using it i'm using this maybelline lipstick and this is in the shade i think it's inventor if i'm not wrong yeah and then to create an ombre effect, I'm using this Seductress Steel by Maybelline. I love Maybelline lipsticks That's because they last you for a very long time and you aren't worried that maybe um, when you use uh, something, maybe a cup, uh, all your lipstick will be left there. You don't have those worries. So that's why I love Maybelline and it will last you all day. And then now I'm blending in that concealer everywhere where I use the concealer to highlight. I'm just blending in. So blend, blend, blend. Take your time with blending. To be honest, uh, the only trick with makeup is just blending. How you blend matters how your makeup will end up. Your final makeup look will be looking like. And if you are not used to applying the makeup and you're not used, uh, you don't know the potions that you should actually use 
I would recommend that you use a little bit of it and then you go building it up. You'd rather build it up compared to you use too much of it and then now you are stressed out on how you're going to take it off. Because especially with highlight, it's going to make you overly highlighted and you may not end up loving the final look. So just use less is more, less is more and always blend, 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 blend blend take your time with blending actually blending takes the most time so take your time with blending take your time honey don't be in a rush take your time with blending so and then i'm going to contour my nose i'm using this illegal pro concealer in the shade truffle i've come to love this um contour contour hack i normally used to use um the powder uh but nowadays i've come to love this um concealer as my contour i'm i'm really really loving it and then i'm going to mix these two shades these are blush and uh bronzer and i'm going to mix the two of them and just apply them i know i overdid but i'm going to show you how you can be able to fix that so blend 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 even the more I blended, there wasn't a much change. So I'm going to show you how exactly you can be able to fix that in just a short while. So in case you do that mistake, don't panic. Just do this. Follow what I'm going to show you and it will be very, very easy for you and your final look will be looking beautiful so i'm going ahead and contouring my face so i'm using the same shade truffle to contour my face and you can see i'm minimizing that blush that i actually overdid and it's getting better so i'm just blending 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 since i don't want any harsh lines but still you can see i have them and i'm going ahead to blend in that nose contour and i'm using a brush So I'm just blending, 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 blending. And then I went ahead and used um sponge. So for a natural, if you ever want to have that natural finish, you just use your brush first and then go ahead and use your sponge, your beauty blender. It will always give you that natural look. You can see how amazing and beautiful this nose contour is looking right now. It's looking well blended in. And then I'm going to highlight again. And I'm just going to do that on my under eyes and I'm using just a little product. This is just to highlight my under eyes more and at the same time I want to just blend in that harsh um harsh uh what do you call it harsh bronzer and harsh uh blush that i did there so i just want to control it and make it look a little more blended in and then i used the fit me by maybelline powder to set in the areas where i highlighted and to set the areas where i contoured i went ahead and used uh the maybelline superstar the one that i'm using uh as a mirror yes and then i reversed contoured and this is the final look guys i know i made it too short but i know you guys don't love long 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 tutorials so that's why i did this for you so this is the final look tell me what you think on the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe like comment share and until next time bye loves